Look at these tawny flank pinniers. They are really awake this morning. Look at this. Hey? All the birds are calling. I can hear in the far distance Natal Franklin also. And then that chestnut fenced warbler. It doesn't take long and the chestnut fenced warbler calls. And that is because of the sheer common nature of them out here. Catherine, good morning to you too. Thanks for your greeting. Yeah, it's a good morning. We are up and about. The early bird gets the worm, they say. So we are going to get some worms this morning. In case some of you are new and you don't know what the Mahiwas mean, basically the Mahiwa males are a formidable coalition that is out here at Madikwe Game Reserve. And uh, this is the dominant male, Mahiwa. He's the dark mane. And then also um, there's a lighter mane, Mahiwa, but as you know, um, he is uh, further north with uh, a lioness that... I don't know what happened to him, but it, it seems like he got quite a bad injury on that leg. Look at the swelling. I'm not sure what happened to him. Um, yeah, we saw a little bit of blood on his chin, so it could have been, uh, you know, maybe during a hunt or something like that. They, they often do sustain injuries during hunts and things like that. But let's just see what he's going to do. He might very well roar on that airstrip. He might even lie down on that tarmac because uh, the tarmac is going to be slightly warmer. And uh, previous days, we have seen this uh, dark mane Mahiwa come to the airstrip specifically to roar because there's very little obstruction on the airstrip. So when he calls, that sound just travels and travels and travels. Camilla, he is very strong. Make no mistake, he is powerful, very powerful. If I had to give you sort of a your a weight ratio on him right now, being full muscle, he's probably weighing just over 200 kilograms. That's a big, big guy. Okay, we're just going to watch a little bit and just see what he's going to do. Seems like he's picked up a scent of something there, doing a little bit of phlegm and grimace. Thanks, Andrew. That airstrip was always very powerful for finding lions. I found them nearly every day around that airstrip and Mohawk has finally decided to stop moving he came out onto Gary Cut line the impala started shouting at him and he lay down sometimes when they look like that what are they figuring out he's still a very impressive male Mike, well, he's still a dominant male. You know, if he does roar, he is inviting S8 to challenge him. Um, there's nothing to stop him from roaring, but I know that S8 has been on a mission to give him a hiding. But BK, you heard him calling this morning, eh? So there was, I didn't hear it. My room is, is quite nice and sheltered. I didn't hear a lion calling this morning. I heard a little bit of a contact call at one point. So he was calling. He has been advertising himself. And maybe we'll be lucky.
How spectacular is this sunrise? In all honesty, I have never seen anything like this. As much time as I've spent at Amakala, I have never seen the mist so thick that it creates what looks like a dam in the basin. This is mist. It's slowly moving up the mountain slopes. That is absolutely ridiculous. This is just too beautiful. My goodness. Imagine being down in the basin now. We wouldn't be able to see anything in all this thick mist. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well, we're up here looking for the cheetahs, actually, so I'm really hoping that we get some cheetahs with a misty background. But we just had to show you this. I mean, it's like an optical illusion of note. Sunrise over the mist at the bottom of the basin. And we're sitting high up on top of the mountain. Unreal. Cheetahs in the mist. This is so cool. I can't even deal with it. We have got the three veiled cheetahs right on the edge of the mountain looking out over the basin. I mean, this one now has decided to move and call. Wow. Calling his brothers. Oh, we're going to have to move. Sorry, Morgan. Oh boy. <laughs> Once again, we shall test the skills of reversing on the slope. I'm going to go up and around. Sorry, big boy. Apologies. Good morning. show you the other one in the meantime because he is still just lazing around on the edge of the mountain. That's him. That's his head sticking out. <laughs> I know, right? It's so gorgeous. So we are waiting to see where the third one is because this is now the second one. The third one, I think that's why they're calling. They're trying to look for him. Unreal. Being covered in mist at the moment, so the mist has just started rising and it's blowing up the mountain cheetah. Blarakam, isn't it absolutely ridiculous? He's right on the edge looking so pretty. I mean, literally, he's looking out at a sea of mist right now. The mist is blowing right up the mountain face straight at us. This is too good. around for his brother. Where did he go? Looking for the third one. Don't know where the third one is. Oh, wow. Maybe the mist is so thick they can't see him. I know. Catherine, it's the best cheetah misty morning ever. We can barely see him now. The mist is coming up so quickly. I mean, we could see him earlier. Now we can't. The mist is just rising. Oh, he's sniffing something on the ground. brother. I mean cheetah vocalizations are just so unique. That high-pitched squeaking we can hear every now and then, that's them. That's them calling. This is amazing. This is the best view we've had of the cheetahs ever. Let's soak it in. He's gonna go by the pole. No, Morgan. No. <laughs> Okay, we shall move. We're going to have to turn around anyway because they're going that way, so I'm not going to reverse the whole way. Oh, this is so cool. Best morning ever. 
This is literally where we were sitting just now looking at the mist. <laughs> where that cheetah is now is where we were looking at the mist making a dam. Oh, there comes the other one. Coming up the mountain. Where is your brother? Where's number three? Oh, Rashawn, good morning. Oh, there's the third one. He's down at the bottom. Hey, he's coming up. They just couldn't see him in the mist. But thank you, Rashawn. It's nice to hear from you, and I'm so happy that you're enjoying our sightings. Amakala is honestly such a special place. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> there he is. It is very difficult in the mist. It's so tough to see them. There he is. Hello, boy. It's nice to see you. You're looking good. But I am happy to hear that everyone's enjoying the Amakala sightings. It is so special to be here and to get sightings like this. I mean, where else are we going to get cheetahs on a mountain face in the mist calling each other? Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> 